Hi everyone, it's Bethany. Welcome back to the 25 Days of Cricut Cheer. In this video, we are going to do a very simple and very beginner-friendly craft. It's one of my all-time favorite things to do with my Cricut machine, and that is creating a little coffee mug with adhesive vinyl. So I purchased this coffee mug off of Amazon. I'm really impressed with how it came. It's very nice. It looks like it's very high quality, and the color is very pretty. So I'll be sure to link this in the description box below the video with all the other materials that I'm using. And they also have a lot of different colors that you can choose, but I thought the navy would be really pretty because I'm going to be pairing it with a smart vinyl, white smart vinyl, and this is a permanent smart vinyl, and I think the contrast will just pop and really be pretty and wintry. So we're going to be putting a cute little Christmas thing on the front of this mug. I also have the Cricut Joy transfer tape because we'll be using the Cricut Joy today. I have a squeegee scraper tool, a weeding tool, and then I have a little measuring tape so that we can get everything sized and ready to go for our design. So looks like I have my mug is about three inches tall so you want to leave enough room for your lip to be able to sip without touching the vinyl so I am going to say that my design can be two inches tall and then that will seem good to me actually two inches okay so let's hop into design space I'm going to show you this cute little file that I found and it's really sweet it's going to be perfect for a Christmas coffee mug and I think you guys are going to love it just as much as I do all right let's get started Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and this is the file that we are going to use. I actually purchased this off Design Bundles, and I just loved it. It really caught my eye. I thought it was really cute, and I'm going to put it on my coffee mug. But I also want to mention, this would be really pretty on a sweatshirt or a shirt. I think it would just be really, really pretty as well. So you can use this for any type of um, project that you're doing. Don't feel like you have to do a coffee mug. Okay, so what I'm going to do is it's all very, very simple. It's already done for me, but if you'll notice over in the layers panel, there are multiple layers that make up this file. So what I need to do first and foremost is highlight everything, make sure all my layers are highlighted, and I need to come down and say attach. That way, everything will be placed exactly how you see it on the screen when it gets cut out. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure my height is two inches. So I'm just going to come up to the height and I'm going to type in two and that puts my width at about 2.1. So that will be just about perfect. And then I'm going to be cutting this out of white smart vinyl so I can just make this white. That's optional. You don't have to color code it, but sometimes it's helpful for me. And then the last thing I'm going to do is make sure my joy is selected and say make it. Okay. I am going to say without a mat because I'm going to be using my smart vinyl and then I can say done. Then I can go ahead and say continue. My setting will be smart vinyl permanent and I'll go ahead and load my material and get everything cut out. Okay, so I have my roll of permanent smart vinyl here so I can just open up my machine and then I can just auto feed it right into my joy. And then it's gonna make sure I have enough material which obviously there's plenty of material for this particular project. And then I can go ahead and say go on my computer. While that's cutting, I'm just going to take a little rubbing alcohol and I'm going to decide which side I want my design on. So I'm going to do it on this side. So I'm just going to place the rubbing alcohol all around the area where the vinyl will be and it just helps make sure that everything is nice and clean and make sure there's no oils or dust that would prevent the vinyl from sticking really well. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and unload my material and then I'm going to take some scissors and I'm just going to trim off my design and also I'm going to trim off any extra vinyl that I have that way I can save it and place it on a mat for another project. Okay so now we are all ready to weed. Now Cricut has put white vinyl on a white background so please don't get mad and <laughs> tell me that you can't see the design while I'm weeding because it's out of my control when they um, have their white on white. So I'm just going to go ahead and weed this really quickly for you and then we will go ahead and place it on our little cup. Okay, so I'm just finishing up weeding and I have to say that I really, really like the Smart Vinyl for coffee mugs or for really small designs because I feel like it's a thicker vinyl and I feel like it weeds really, really well and then it can also withstand a little bit more small designs because it's just a thicker material in my opinion. I'm not sure if everyone feels that way but I purposefully did this project with the Joy because I really like the Smart Vinyl for its thickness. 
So it just makes it easier when working with really delicate and small things. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some of the transfer tape. And again, this is just the Cricut Joy transfer tape. And I'm going to place it right over my vinyl. And you guys will see the design in just one moment now. So I'm going to go ahead and really scrape it down on the front. And then I'm going to turn it over. Now, I've actually had quite a few people say that they've been having problems getting their vinyl off of their cutting sheet lately. So my biggest tip is to turn it over. Not only scrape it really good on the front, but also go ahead and do it on the back as well. I've put that into my workflow since the very beginning, and I just honestly think it helps a lot. So hopefully this comes off really nice and I can prove that it works. But <laughs> now I'm just going to go ahead and peel at an angle. And if you need to, you can grab your weeding tool. Again, that Smart Vinyl is thicker, so sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to get off of the cutting sheet. But just take your time and it'll come up. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and bring in a little towel. And I just really like to use it to just kind of hold my mug in place while I place my d design right on the top. So I'm just going to use it to just kind of cushion my mug and I have my design here and I am just going to, that was a perfect size. I love that. And there's plenty of room for my lip. I might bring it down just a little bit just to give me a little bit more room for my lip. More is always better. And I am going to put it right here. Okay. And lay it right down. Oh, I think that looks really cute. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and just use my finger and go out towards the edges first. And then I'm going to reinforce that pressure and make sure I really scrape it down with my scraping tool just like this. Perfect. Okay, so then I'm just going to grab a corner and then peeling it at an angle, I'm just going to peel away my transfer tape. And then I'm left with my design right on my mug. It looks really cute. I love how this turned out. Be sure to let me know what your favorite Christmas movie is. My favorite Christmas movie is A Christmas Story. I love that movie. We watch it every year. It's always just a really heartwarming and fun movie to watch. So I just love it. So I hope that this year I'm sipping some hot cocoa out of this while I watch that. Because it's just one of those feel-good movies that we really enjoy. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. Please be sure to share this video to encourage others to come craft along with us for the 25 days of Cricut cheer and I will see you all in the next video. Please be sure to give this a thumbs up and give me a comment down below and let me know what you guys are crafting for the holidays as well.